scientists have finally found out what Tutankhamun actually looks like. I'm talking about King Tut, a guy that commonly toots. What's up, guys? My name's Dave Wabo. Welcome to I L L L L L L L. So do you guys like Egyptian culture? Man, personally me, I'm a big fan of it. So, scientists have done a computer analysis and they have found out what King Tut actually looked like. Now they did this by doing over 2,000 computer generated scans. So do you wanna see it? So do you wanna see it? Huh? You curious? All right, here we go, this is what he looks like. You might be in shock. Whoa! What the heck? The guy's got buck teeth and he looks like he's from Revenge of the Nerds? I did not see that coming. I thought he was gonna be like some big strapping lad. Maybe even look like Chris Hemsworth on a good day. But then again, he died when he was really young, so... He didn't get an opportunity to go through puberty. Now in this photo you can see that Tutankhamun's got a cane and he's also got a clubbed foot. Now the reason for this is first of all they found over 130 canes in his tomb. As well, Egyptian radiologist Ashraf Salim, he backs up this theory with a virtual autopsy. Basically showing that his toes are divergent and that he would have had a limp when he was walking. Now one of the reasons why he actually died early is probably due to the fact of inherited diseases. and. Uh, also incest, if you didn't know. Albert Zink of the Institute of Mummies has done a full out analysis of his DNA, and the DNA pretty much points to the fact that his father, Arkenaton, had a relationship with his sister. Now another scientist by the name of Hutton Ashrafian, he did a study actually finding out that his family predecessors actually had a longer lifespan than his family line. Thus giving us good old fashioned inbreeding. Among the analysis done in 2010, they also found malaria in his system, as well when he was mummified, they actually embalmed his erect dick to go to a 90 degree angle and he's the only mummy to ever actually have that done. They also covered his skin with a complete black liquid so he would be similar to Osiris. And of course, he couldn't be a mummy if they didn't remove his heart. Dear the old nose, man. Disgusting. Oh wait, no, that was brain removed through the nose. Ah, dang it. Either way, I want to know from you guys, who is your favorite historical leader? Don't get me wrong, I've always liked Eisenhower. It's a weird thing. So thanks for watching, guys. My name is Dave Wobble, and as I always say, keep it real, keep it classy, keep it on the flip side out there in the Egyptian world. <laughs>